now. Yes, Kirsty, I heard that. Oh, good. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're there uh, loud and clear, Kirsty. A little bit jerky, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Better than last week. <laughs> oh, it was terrible last week. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Share screen. Here we are. Can you see that, Liz? Mm -hmm. Right, so um, the wind is low, Homer. And we've I can't, my screen's gone black. All right, oh, we can all see it. Oh, that's you, Barry, isn't it? Yeah. You're just away for your coffee. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to be more attentive. Yeah, you have, yes. Yeah, um, I think this is a... It, it looks either a, like a, a an oil painting or maybe a gouache. It's done with solid paint, I think. <laughs> Fairly simple. Um, the only complication is getting the, the boys looking right. Mm -hmm. So um, I know we've all been doing a little bit of practice for figures and things like that. So one slight problem is uh, where where actually to position the the boys in this water. If they if they're too far out, uh, the water is incredibly shallow, or they're in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> If, if I'm doing something where it matters to me, I, I would do a couple of figures as a cutout and move them around so that yeah. they, they look to be in exactly the right position. So that's where I'll paint them. Once you start painting them, then yeah, it's hard to move them. Okay. Um, Colour wise, gee. I, th I think we we can just do it as is. The, the The water is not too dark, and got lots of uh, sketchy ripples going across. The reflections from the background are, are very big. They're just <laughs> ch slight changing colour. So, as we've learnt, um, the reflections usually in a downhill motion with our brush and the ripples they always go horizontal so you you get that fundamental difference when you're looking at water but the re reflections are, are very muted and they usually are when it's the sea it, the sea doesn't keep still enough to generate much reflection um it's a bit of uh, raw sienna with yellow ochre in the in the foreground there's a few pebbles thrown around. Um, we could do a little bit of uh, uh, dry brush gouache for these horizontal uh, ripples and reflections. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so uh, we'll make a start and do the drawing. See my, see my cameras as it should be. Right. I suspect some of you will have this drawn already. So I'll mute all. And I'll get on with it. Okay. So the, the aspect is a little bit more more square than my paper, so I'll um, I'll just draw a line down the side. Otherwise, you have a tendency to stretch the image to fit. Um, right. 
try and get your aspect right if you're uh, copying Tony, Tony, hello I don't, I don't know if it's just me but i've only got you as a little tiny square and i can see everybody else is there oh well yes yes there, there, there is there is a, a control you've got and it should be in the upper right do you have a little uh, uh, the word view and nine dots in the top right, Annie? Oh, I have to go and shout my daughter. <laughs> okay, right. I'm sure you'll sort it out. Can you see me, Tony, now? Yes. Oh, I'm back, good. Good old. Right. So, right, um, I've got that looking okay. The water level on the other side of the uh, of the view is about there. Seems crazy drawing that line and right up there. And uh, nice, elegant looking sailing vessel. It's got the sails furled lying in the bottom there. Couple of buildings. I'm not sure we can actually see the uh, the sky. I think these are just buildings in the background. We've got an old crane here. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Now. Very sorry to interrupt, Tony, but I can't see your image. What have I not done? I can um, see everybody and your sheet of paper. You, can you see my, my sheet of paper here? Yeah. Well, I, I haven't drawn much yet. I've drawn some something up here. I haven't drawn... What are we list. looking at? I can't see what we're supposed to be looking at. So I'm doing something very wrong. Okay, so can you see my hands? Can. Yeah. Well, there's the drawing. Okay, I'm see. just copying you on, right? Oh, right. Well, uh, I sent a picture out, which you should have as a, ah, as a, a freestanding oh uh, Sorry, I'm just part of the email. You can, if you can't oh, find right. it, yeah, I've got it. I've got it. You got, got it. it. All right. Well, you yeah. can. You can look at that and, yep, uh, and just watch what I'm doing as well. Yep. Right now, oh, these these young fellows. I should have followed my own advice and got these drawn already.
this boy on the right looks as though he's, he's just stepping forward. That's his, his right leg enters the water at a different point to the left leg. Not sure that's important, but that's how it appears to be. Now, comparative to the size of the picture, I've, I've drawn my my boys rather large. I, don't, I think they'll be okay. I think that's all I need. All the ripples and reflections in the water, I'll, I'll put those on with, with my brush. Better done uh, freehand, I think, things like that. Now this this boy's head isn't right. He's not looking vertically down, is he? In fact, he's just not leaning over far enough. It's a pity, I was quite happy with that head. Now I've drawn one almost exactly the same again. It's still not right, but it will do. Um, sorry about this, but you're all finished and waiting for me, so faffing about. Okay. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to um, block in the, the top half of the picture. So we've got a couple of buildings and the boat. All in pretty dark colour. Um, The pale greeny blue. So a bit of darker grey there. My pants have gone back to sleep again. So dark blue gray for this building, paint around the sail there. No precision required at all for this backdrop. I'm just painting around things which are pale. This building a little bit darker. And the sides of the wharf darker still. But itself, it got a bit of a greeny tinge to it, but it's still very dark.
I was going to leave a space for those long lines going along the side of the boat, but that would be so much easier to paint in with gouache later. And I look again, I think those lines are, are, are just a paint job on the side of the boat. So I'll come back to that. Right, it doesn't need to be anything more elaborate than that. The sides of the wharf are very dark. A nice rake to the to the bow. And this is dark enough. The doorway and another. Finish that later. Right. Clean that off. So the water. French ultramarine. A little bit of raw sienna. Sorry, Tony, what did you say for the um, sea colours? Yes, um, ultramarine, and I'm just trying a bit of raw sienna in it. Looks about right. Right. 
tiny bit of yellow in addition. And I'm worried, I'm worried that I won't see this pencil when I paint across. It looks like he's painted round. Yeah. It does. I think I'm going to change my mind and do the same. I should have thought that through because I could have painted right across then and my pencil lines would have disappeared. This is okay. Um, problem is that quite often you get a sort of a white halo around. Where your subsequent paint doesn't actually reach to the line anyway. Let's press on. So I've put that on and I'm, I'm removing a little bit here and there with a dry brush. I've added more uh, ultramarine. Most of the, 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 the figures are darker than they see anyway. So this may have been the best way to do it all along. Sorry, Tony, can I ask you, it's ultramarine for the sea and something else? Um, yes. I can't remember what you said. No, I can't either. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely Both not together. just ultramarine. It's got a, 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 a bit of, um, a bit of, uh, well, it's only got a bit of grey, not much more. Like you said, raw sienna. Oh, raw sienna. 
in the boat, wasn't it? That was um, a blue with raw sienna in the boat to, to give it burnt, a... Burnt sienna, I think. A, burnt sienna, okay. No, no How's that not, Okay. No, the boat was was uh, ultramarine and, and, and raw sienna. So it, it's, it's, it's a different green, but it's quite a, an earthy green. And right. The, and the sea was uh, ultramarine and Payne's grey. Okay, thank you. And I'm, I'm wiping across with a kitchen roll just to turn it down a bit and also give it that horizontal look about it. So there's more work to do to the sea. Needs to be darker in parts. We'll do that now. So this is uh, ultramarine and and burnt sienna. Much darker. So now I'm thinking of ripples. Pale ripples, I'll come back over with some gouache later. The dark ripples in now. I've added a tiny bit of green here.
Now I haven't, I haven't finished with the water, I'll come back to it, put the, the little beach in now, so more sienna. And Nepal's yellow. Can you speak, Tony, please? We can't yeah, see buddy. you. I'm on it. So I always start off with skin tones. I start off with um, burnt sienna. Choose a sort of a middle in tone and then lighten it where necessary by removing with a dry brush. 
and darkening. There's a little bit more burnt sienna. Very pale yellow, um, apples yellow for the hat. Gotta be careful not to touch the skin tones there because it will, they're both wet. So I'm leaving that, come back to that. Now the other guy's shirt is blue, very streaky. Not really sure what's going on there.
I don't think either of the boys are actually doing anything. They're just looking down, peering into the depths. Now this guy's rolled up trousers, I'm just starting with a mid-grey. Which I can darken later. The other boy's jerking his raw here now with a bit of burnt umber to darken it. Again, it will require shadows later. Uh, this clothing is just a matter of a pale base coat. Let it dry and then put the shadows in. Remove a bit of paint here and there for the highlights. I'm just going round with a sort of a mid-grey, adding in the shadows. Sometimes the paper's still a little bit wet, 
I don't have to leave it for a while, but if it's slightly damp, it's uh, that's okay. Now my shadows on this character's clothing, I'm using sepia.
very much darker shadow lines here indicating the bright sun Hi, Tony. Yes. Yeah, I've just got to jump off now, um, but I very much enjoyed that, and I'll catch up with recording to see how you use the gouache a bit later. Okay, Viona. Okay, thank you very much, Tony. Okay. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, bye. All right, a bit of a reflection of the figures. There's no theory about reflections at all. They're especially in a broken up water like this.
just lifting out a little bit of pigment there on the top of the wharf. Naples yellow, few little highlights. It's a useful colour, it's um, quite dense, so it will stand up for itself. So white gouache. Small brush for a bit of more control.
So for these uh, reflections, I'm thinking they, they must be the sun or the bright sky that's reflecting. This is virtually neat go white gouache. So you get a nice dry brush effect. Be shot of blue over here.
<clears throat> well. This guy is um, jerking. I simplified it. I quite like that plain area of paint, so I've left it. Okay, Trixie, let's look a bit closer. A bit closer, Trixie. <laughs> right. So the figures don't figure out much, do they? No. Are you going to work on them more, aren't you? Yes, that's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Lynn. How did you do? Okay. Now there's work to do there, isn't there? It's, a, it, it's not finished, I'm guessing. Unless you think it is. Okay. All right, it's pretty much pretty much all there, Lynn. Figures look good. You can tell they're um, deep in thought there. But there's uh, you've left the background uh, very pale, and it looks all right actually. You muted. I don't know if you're commenting or not, but um... right. Yes, um, I'm saying the boat will stand out better. I think if um, I'm not too strong in the background. Right. Okay. I, I agree. And then I've got the beach to finish. Well, to start. You've got the beach to finish. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, thank you. It's coming. I'll, I'll finish it later. Yeah. Okay. If um right okay let's see now working across um lindsay yeah pick, pick closer lindsay oh that's good oh you've got a, a lot to do wasn't there well yes but uh i think if we if you work at it too much you, you tend to lose it so I, th I think you've done really well there lindsay yeah, I enjoyed doing the figures. Yeah, it's really good. Good effort. Okay. Uh, Vicky? Yeah. Let's see now. Right, you've you've put a bit more weight into your paintwork and uh, it's fine. Okay, okay, thanks. You I enjoyed it. I yeah, love, I love yours. Nice, nicely done. Thank you. Okay, Anna, looking at yours now. Yeah. Bit closer, Anna. Right, I'm trying. I'm trying to make out the figures a bit more. Okay. Bit short of definition um, on the figures, Anna. Okay. I can see they're there, and I can see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. How about a bit of a bit of uh, judicious shadows where you'd expect there to be some, especially okay. down down the sides of the figures where it's not sunlit. Right. Okay. We'll work on that. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Good. Uh, Linda. Right. You've. Uh, hello, Linda. Are you there? Yeah. Bring, yeah. Bring it a bit closer, Linda. I thought the figures don't stand out, do they? No. No. They they also need a little bit of shadow work down the the shaded side. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, th I quite like the, the colours and the sea. It's nice and lively. Just a bit, bit more definition on the on the figures, Linda. Okay, thank you. Uh, Elizabeth. Ah, I see that's really good. A bit closer, Elizabeth. Yeah. Well done there. Thank you. Yeah, I can't fault that. <laughs> Super. How did you do, Bev? I struggled because my printer's broken and I didn't have a proper pitch on my iPad. It kept losing it. And oh, dear. Oh, I need dear. a new printer. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't I didn't feel as if I did well at all. Uh, well, let's let's see. Let's bring it a bit closer, Bev. Not listening. Okay, to sorry to interrupt. Um, I've got to leave now because it's 10% on my battery. And it's all right, Val. Down. Uh, okay, so, Val. How I'll did you do that? Bye. Bye-bye.
Bev. Bev. I think it's a very tiny. Be closer. Stop making excuses. <laughs> closer. That's all. I, I, yeah, I, as I suspected, that's rather good. Yeah. It doesn't matter that the figures are small. Yeah. Just yeah. Try, um, try cropping it a little bit if you, if you know, if you want them to stand out more. No, it's a good job that uh, Viv. Nice. The picture that you showed, you know, I had a lot more detail on than the one that was on my email. I felt. Oh. I don't know if that's my computer or what. But... Oh, I don't know. Or whether it's just because I couldn't print it and I, that might have been it. Well, well I thank know you it's anyway. Quite a, a low res picture. There's nothing I could do about that. No, yours was better. Was it? Better than mine, yes. That's what I was saying. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's so I can, thank you. Uh, that's so I can steal a march on you, you see, by yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Janet. Ooh. Oh, that's rather good, Janet. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's really good. You see, the figures are excellent. Yes, yes. See what oh. they're up to. Oh, good. Well, I won't mention the background, but uh... well, I can't see much of it. So <laughs> no, no, that was intention. <laughs> You'll be very crafty. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Okay, Annie, how did you do there? <laughs> Okay, big, big closer, Annie. Oh, they're nice figures. They, they, they just need a little bit more, uh, oh, colour. I know there's not much colour in them, but just a little, little bit stronger to make them stand out from the um, the water behind them. And you don't need to alter them in any way. They're nicely done. Good one, Annie. Uh, Victoria. Hi. C. How did you? Were you happy with this? Not mm -hmm. happy. No, not quite finished. Let's bring it a bit closer, Victoria. Okay. No, I think that that's, that's nicely done. <coughs> Just felt on my face needed a bit more work. Well, the boy's well, face is a bit of a mess. <laughs> Well, there isn't much there, you know, it's just a puddle of colour. Yes. need detail, you know, it, it, it doesn't work so well. And uh, I think that it, that looks finished to me. I would see behind the left-hand figure is a, a trifle dark. It's interrupting. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yes. It, I could it like just that. wants washing away a little bit. Absolutely. Maybe with a little bit of a sort of mauve. Yeah. But that looks really nice. The background looks super. Good, thank you. Okay, Liz, how did you do? Oh, which Liz? <laughs> Both no, Liz's. No, no, no. Just, all right, just Liz on her own, not Liz Rhodes. I'll come back to you. Uh, oh. Oh, is that very a good, good. or a bad it's o? Good, right? it's very good. Nice. Huh? I, I've been distracted by a strange noise, but bring it even closer. <laughs> thank you. But no, Liz, no, I haven't done. Bit oh, closer. Sorry. Bit closer. <laughs> nice figures. Yeah, yeah, really good. What is that noise? It's Tony. It's Tony, you're like, you making the noise. Like Somebody got a duck in there. No, it's not me. I'm dead quiet. <laughs> no, I think it must be better. No, no. When it makes the noise, your your square lights up, Tony. It must be you. <laughs> Tony, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. lovely. I love that. The left hand figure looks like he's having a wee, but never mind. <laughs> I think that was always a. A danger right from the off. When I when I looked at the subject, I thought, "What are they up to with these lads?" <laughs> but it's a good picture, that Tony. Super. <laughs> uh, Linda. All right. Keep it still. It's, it's right now. The the figures look really good. They just need bringing out a little bit more, Linda. Mm -hmm. I know they're pale, but they could do with some uh, a bit of colour and a tiny bit of shaping. 
Yeah. And yeah. now it's suddenly yeah. clicked into focus. I'm not so sure you need to do anything. It looks okay. Yeah, it's clicking in and out at the moment. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's, no, you've done nicely there, Linda. Well done. Yep. Okay. Um, who have I missed? Anyone? Uh, Frank? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Natalie. Um, bring it closer, Frank. Good figures. Okay, thanks. Yeah, they look to be uh, anatomically correct. Uh, re really good. I, I had to bring the, the sand forward, otherwise it would look like they were practically standing on the beach. All right, well. That's, so maybe a bit big, I think. I, it's worked well. Uh, yeah, it's good job that, Frank. Nicely done. Thanks. Natalie, sorry. Let's it's all right. See. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's that's jolly good, Natalie. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's not clear what the boys are up to, but that's <laughs> that's just boys for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, Liz. I'm sorry. Right, let's see. Now. <laughs> okay, a bit closer. A bit closer, Liz. That's okay. keep it nice and still. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Yeah, I love that. I love I'm the not very happy with the boat, really, but uh, well, who cares? I'm do ash. <laughs> the figures are fine. Thanks, uh, Janice. Let's see. Right, this this looks quite uh, quite accomplished. The, oh. Yeah, <laughs> as a picture, you know, and the depth and the distance, really good. Thank you. The figures, the figures look a little bit un, unsteady, but <laughs> do they? Well, oh, I see. You know, they, they could be in uh, on soft sand or something like that. Thank you, Tony. Nicely done, Kirsty. Let's see. Oh, jolly good, Kirsty. It's not finished yet. <laughs> no, but it's. Uh, no, but what you've done is good. Really good. Yeah, I feel like I've got quite a lot more to do on it, but Yeah, well, I don't think so. Don't don't overdo it. Mm. Um over the page now we've got uh Tess. Hello Tess. Hello. Hello there. I've changed one of the uh, boys into a girl. <laughs> oh <laughs> it's got a, a skirt idea. on instead of shorts. <laughs> Bring me closer, Tess. I think this looks rather good. Yeah, I love those figures. Thank you. Yeah, nicely done. Thank you. Uh, Sally? A bit closer, Sally. Rather blurred. Keep it still. Still blurred. It looks... I, I th yeah, I think that's very good, Sally. Okay. I'm not sure because it's not fully focusing, but from what I can see, that looks excellent. Okay, thank you. Are you pleased with it? Yes. It yes. is good. Uh, okay, Lindsay, with a good one. Yes, very good, Lindsay. Thank you. Yeah. I find Look. the hat very hard to do. I kept redrawing it. Yeah, but you, your figures have got a lot of character there. They look absolutely intense on something. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, uh, Andrea. See you waiting patiently there. Be closer, Andrea. Okay, that's that's really good, Andrea. The composition is excellent. The size of the figures and the position. Most figures work better than the background. Well, I don't know. The background looks fitting. It's fine, and the the, sh the shadow and the the depth of colour in the water is just about spot on. Nice. Sorry, Alison, you're nodding off there. You're waiting, were you? No, no, she's not waiting. Okay, Melanie, are you happy? No, we're near finished. All right. <coughs> I don't know how everybody does it. I really don't. Okay. Uh, are we done then? I don't know. Uh, 
Have a seaman. <laughs> Sorry, Barry. Come, Keeping a low profile. I'm on the other page. I'm swapping pages now. Didn't okay, Barry. Go on, didn't Barry. Get water, didn't get me water right. Didn't control my water. Come on, on, let's look. Right, now, look, you've brought some colour into your figures. Oh. Uh, that's something that others, including myself, failed to do. Why not? Yes. Good job, that, Barry. I didn't mind my figures. It's everything else I didn't like. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a think about next week. Oh, Denise, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, really good. No, come on. Let's. Sorry, Tony, I was trying to take my um, sound. Okay. Off. Oh, um, that's really good. I've had to go back yeah. to my seat because I made a right mess of it. Yeah, well, you've smoothed it out, I've, haven't you? I've smoothed it out, but I just yeah. need to put a few more ripples back in here when it's dry. Yeah. <laughs> A few gentle ripples uh, uh, across. You'll have to uh, paint around the, the figures, yeah. but you, you can you can do that. Uh, yeah. Nicely done, that Denise. Thank you. Okay. And it's, to, and it's good to be back, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I right. finished my elfin duties. <laughs> okay, dog. Right. Let's think about next week, unless there's someone else I've missed. No. Share screen. I had something. Um, so this is what we've done. So I got a couple of ideas here. Um, here's a picture of Airedale. I like this because of all the shadows, that the clouds are casting. You know, you're looking over a long distance here mm -hmm. with small clouds. Lovely shadows in the in the in the. I like that, Tony. Yes. Yeah, good. I think that's a good one. It's, it's nice. A good one. Yeah. Well, lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we can do that. Uh, we've, we'll save yeah. these. We'll save these. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, this is. Oh yeah, that's I was, I was given uh, a from. I thought it was Lynn. But... That, that's me, actually. I was just... Oh, Linda. Yeah, that was the spooky house. Yes. With, with the glacier to the right. Right. Yeah, lovely. Oh, okay. I don't know what that was on the right. Well, it, it's um, it's on the list, Linda. Uh, it's on the list. I love <laughs> this this flat colour in the background. The um, the, the mountains. Anyway, we'll come back to that. So we've. We're happy with this one. Mm -hmm. yes. that, yeah. 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 Next week. Lovely. Next week's. Yeah. Okay. Marvellous. All right, then. Look forward okay. to it. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, yes. There you are. Yes, we did, didn't we? I like that. Done a good job there, gal. Um, yeah, I think I need a bit more tuition on water. <laughs> well, it's, no, it's pretty good. I think your uh, reflections are a bit fierce. Uh, no, I, I, I disagree. The water's fine. And you've done a good job there, Annie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Nicely you. done. Yeah. Are you, are you happy, Kirsty? Uh, yes, I'm. I, I think I'm. I'm struggling to keep up a bit, so I've got things that I need to. Um, oh right. And, well. And finish, but yeah, I suppose it's practice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Um, We've got to crack on, you know. We've only yeah. an hour and a half to to finish. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I realise um, that. Sylvia, just... I would not see. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's very painterly, Sylvia. You're doing a super job there. Yeah, that's smashing. Start of the show, Cindy, uh, Sylvia. Well done. Right. 
uh, Tony, I'm not going to be able to make to do it next week. Uh, okay. Oh, oh not... no, neither am I. Neither am I. I'm oh, going right. for lunch with Kirsty. <laughs> lunch? No oh, deal. <laughs> Barry, what's going on? Yeah, quite, I, I can make it. I, I'm Billy. Yeah, no, you're me. not going to lunch, are you? Bloody <laughs> no. two o'clock. Oh, I'm just I, really I, no mate. I wanted to do the, um, I wanted to, I'd forgotten Kirsty about that. I wanted to do the Airedale one. So, all right, all and I was right. voting for it, forgetting I wasn't going to be here. <laughs> yeah, but you can't do everything, can you? you you'll have to decide. Uh, I looked at your YouTube. You oh, mentioned yeah. YouTube last week. Um, yeah. But the only one I could find was Home Firth, which I was chuffed to bits with because I live in Home Firth. Do you live in Home Firth? No, wait, Home Firth. Is that a long time ago? I don't know, but that was the only one I could find. Um, but it was uh, sort of not dissimilar to your Airedale, so maybe I'll try that sometime. All right. Well, it must be ages ago, because I did YouTube um, oh, about four years ago or something like that. Uh, and I've forgotten most of them. I've just put some of these on recently. I've started doing it again. So I'll put this one on YouTube as well. Yeah, I looked at them. I ought to uh, edit it so you know the YouTube people they they won't won't want all this chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so bad at the end. You can just stop it, but at the beginning, you know, unless you know what you're doing, you've got to put up with it. I notice Janet features a lot on the YouTube ones. <laughs> oh, does she? <laughs> Well, well, it, it, the, the camera, the beginning, the the camera beginning. always goes to Janet. I don't know how she does it. Well, well, see, see. <laughs> <laughs> she must have a special switch or something on her Probably. computer. Probably. <laughs> right then. Well, I'll see you. Sylvia. Yeah, take care. See you next week. I'll oh, see you. Okay. Yeah, see you Monday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Put Thank the you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.